you should come to any suggestions doctor if you are a huge fan of doctor who um but also if you're not a big fan of doctor who we'll tell you everything there is to know you know i think one of the things that i i really uh, do enjoy about this show is that it is completely accessible um we always make a point at the start of the show of being like hey give us a big cheer if you're a big fan of doctor who but also give us a big cheer if you've just been dragged along by one of your friends <laughs> and uh somet- sometimes those barometers are slightly more skewed <laughs> than we might expect um I think we've only ever once had a crowd where we said, give me a cheer, you've been dragged along by a friend, and there was silence. Um, but we've definitely had times where that second cheer is a little bit bigger, and we're like, okay, cool. So um, it's always going to be a show that is fun. Um, it's, as I say, it's appropriate for people of all ages. Uh, it's exciting. It's an adventure. It can go anywhere in time and space. We've got a literal TARDIS on stage with us. We can go wherever you want we can do whatever you want um and uh you know yeah we're gonna drop in uh the doctor who references for the big fans but it's not going to be completely inaccessible we're gonna take you along for the ride like trust me i'm not i'm not the doctor who expert you know (laughs) like i have to spend as much time cribbing up before shows just reading up on the tardis wiki to be like okay let's in that past episode we had such and such a character who actually are they so that i can figure this out in case they come up in future um you know so yeah it's it is completely accessible um so if you're a huge fan of doctor who great come along you're gonna love all that if you're not a fan of doctor who but you do just want a good fun hour of uh, an exciting adventure with a really tight plot that, as I say, can go anywhere in time and space. Uh, Any suggestions, Doctor? The improvised Doctor Who parody is the show for you. So uh, the we do actually have um, another show that we ha- have taken up to uh, the Fringe this year. It's an exciting uh, debut for us. Um, it's called Suggestions of the Unexpected. Um, as the name implies, um, it is a uh, sort of improvised homage to shows like Tales of the Unexpected, The Twilight Zone, uh, even a bit of Goosebumps, probably fair to say. Um, it's more like an improvised uh, portmanteau horror story, um, uh, or perhaps not necessarily horror, but uh, let's say cautionary tale. You know, So we get the prompts from the audience and we are going to like tell you a message, an important message about how you should live your life uh, based on those prompts. Um, it's it's really exciting for us. Um, it is an experiment. It's also worth saying. Um, I'm, I'm really uh, looking forward uh, to trying it out. It's going to be in the final week of The Fringe. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want something that's maybe going to be a little bit darker, um, a little bit more late night, not necessarily, you know, bawdy, shall we say, but we're definitely going to be exploring some more uh, serious uh, tones than we might cross in any suggestions, Doctor. Um, so yeah, if you just want an improv experience that's a little bit different than what you've seen before, um, I would uh, be delighted if people would come along to see suggestions of the unexpected as well.